Okay, so the scenario is that we are no longer working at UTS. We now work in the Lego Island improvement business. And our current client is turning up. So hands up clients. Yep. Yep, so these are your three customers. Um, they are brand new super villains. Now, they recently come into a little bit of cash, a little bit of money to purchase a Lego Island and also to purchase our time for three sprints to improve the island. Now in their hands they have a whole bunch of cards which have possible improvements. So if you like to put those out on the maps as well, just so, so you can, everybody can see them. So these are 40 possible improvements that we can do in the time that we've got available. With the white cards, we can group them by theme. Have a look at the cards. So hand out the cards to the students and allow those, those guys to, to really just categorize them on the map. Now as a very first exercise, can you put the white cards across the top and then as a group, categorize and group together all the other colored cards underneath them. So if you look at the colored cards, it will have common themes like offense, defense, um, accommodation. So once those white cards are lined up across the top of the map, then as a group, can you now help your customer to now organize where should all these colored cards go? It's going to be about two, three minutes. Okay. Okay. So that's power, obviously, right? Each group grab a topic and pick one user story.
How do we do that? Um, I should check with Yeah, it's a... That was the bottom. Yeah. That's fine. We don't have those facilities. We have that. We have that. We have that. We have that. We that. We have that. We that. Yeah, we need to do this. We can do this. I've shafted us all the time. Yeah. Red means no, no, that, that, that's our force field that makes everything bomb proof. It, it comes it's out like of the barrel, goes, okay. goes around. But what happened in this part? Because this protects this part, but what happened no, no, in this part? That goes everywhere. It 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 goes and must be able to let one large vehicle enter the enclosed area. Okay. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot accept. Cell block with two separate cells. Okay. Must be secret agent. What is the agent? And can go off road if needed. And on the back, uh, electric batteries are tied. Very good. You met all the acceptance factors. Well done. Those two things. Um, yeah. Those are two things. Yeah. Who got the car? Here we go. I'm back. I think. Like these three right here? Thailand. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, I accept that one. Oh, no. 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 Damn it. Oh, the laser's falling off. Fix the laser. Oh, the laser's back. If needed, must be able to use the electric batteries. Where's the batteries? Because <laughs> we are did you build a rocket? These are the boosters. Oh, okay, so. Incorporate some of that into your project. So, if each of the table groups can go and grab a sheet of flip chart paper and copy out what did you notice, why do you think it worked that way, and how can you apply it in your project? So, these are three questions I'll give you about 10 minutes to work on. Um, so what did you notice from the exercise? What were the things that you did as a group that really worked or didn't work? Um, why do you think it worked that way? So what's the deeper understanding of, of the dynamics behind it, the mechanics that happened? And then how do you think you'd be able to apply some of those lessons into your project? So I'll give you about 10 minutes. So grab a piece of flip chart paper, copy out the questions, and work as a table group for 10 minutes. <laughs> Identify your reason. Identify your reason. 
It's a real project. It's just not happened. It just happens to be with Lego. Um, it has real tensions and real lessons learned that you find in real projects. Um, and hopefully, it's challenged you a little bit about well, how do you work as a team? How do you characterise yourself as a team? And hopefully, you've learned a lot more about who you are, which then sets the tone going forward for the next 11 weeks or so. So. Well done, you got to the end. Take your flip charts with you, dispose of them um, responsibly, um, and hope to see you next week. Well done.